Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.44 from Sadiku book. So the question is, for the circuit in figure 4.111, obtain the Thevenin equivalent as seen from the terminals AB and DC. Okay. And remember, if we want to find out the Thevenin equivalent, we need to find out the open circuit open circuit voltages okay so we have to find out the Thevenin voltage here between node AB and between node DC so we need to do AB for problem A and for BC for the point B okay so our target here so we will need to find out TAB and then T DC for the second question. Okay, I think we can just use the bottommost node here as our ground. So our voltage here will be zero, and that will be meaning that our VC is zero. Okay, and that will be our important value here. VC is equal to zero volt. Okay, now let's do let's do circuit analysis from this perspective here okay this is node b so we will have this as node b so the voltage here will be vb and then we will have va here why this is va because there is no current that goes there, so the voltage here will become this voltage here. So this is VA and this is VB. Okay, and I think the wisest thing to do here is to use KVL. So we can find out this one. This is I1. And then we have another current that pass through this. But this is 2 ampere because this is a current source. So I will have here as 2 ampere. Okay, that is good. So now we can do KCL, I mean KVL at loop I1. KVL at loop I1. So in the end, we can get the value of I1. So... KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from this 2 ohm. But remember, we need voltage, so we need to multiply it by the current. The only current that pass through it is I1. And now I will have 24 volt voltage source, but the current is flowing from the negative side to the positive side, so we will have minus 24. And then I will have another resistor here, so I will have 3I1. And then another resistor here, so we will have plus 4I1. And then the last resistor is 5I1. 5I1. But here, another current is flowing to this resistor, which is from this 2 ampere. But it is on the same direction, so I will have positive sign plus 2 good and all of that will equal to 0 but I have run out of space so let's move it a little bit here so we will have equal to 0 on the right hand side okay now we will have 2i1 and then minus 24 then plus 3 plus 4 is 7 so I'll have 7i1 and then I will have plus 5I1. And then plus 5 times 2 is 10. So we'll have it all equal to 0. Okay, what can we do next? 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. So we'll have 14I1 here. Minus 24 plus 10 is minus 14. But... Move it to the right hand side. So 14 I1 is equal to 14. Therefore I1 is equal to 1 ampere. Which is a very nice number. Uh, but then we can get Vb out of it, right? 
So what is a PB? PB, okay, PB. See it from this 5 ohm resistor here. What is PB? PB is equal to I1 and then plus 2 multiplied by 5 ohm. I1 is 1, so 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 multiplied by 5. That will be 15 volt. That is good, so we will have 15 volt here. But then we can also see it from this point here. This is I1, right? So I1 is equal to VA minus VB divided by 4. Good. I1, we know it is 1. And then VA, we don't know it. It is that we are interested in. And then minus VB. VB, we know that is 15. Good. And then divided by 4. Therefore, 4 is equal to VA minus 15. So we will have VA is equal to 19 volt. Okay, so now we get the value of VA is 19 volt and VB is 15 volt and VC is 0 volt. So now we know what is VAB. VAB is VA minus VB. 19 minus 15, that will be 4. And the unit will be volt, right? And then VBC, VB is 15 minus 0. 15 minus 0 is 15 minus 0 is 15 volt. 15 volt. Okay, so we get our open circuit voltages. And now we just need to find out the Thevenin resistance. But then I want to clean up our board first. Okay, we need to find out the Thevenin resistance. And for AB, it is seen from this point. And then for BC, it is seen from this point. However, we need to turn off the sources first. Okay, so the sources here, the voltage source need to be replaced by short circuit. Right? So we will have this is replaced by short circuit like this. And then this one is replaced by open circuit. Okay, so now let's find out the RTH for the point AB. So RTH for AB. What is it? That will be this one ohm in series with this is in series and parallel with this in series so we will have four parallel with no four series with five but that four and five is parallel with three and two so we'll have three plus two so we'll have one and then plus 9 parallel with 5. Yeah. 9 parallel with 5. Is it correct though? We need to see it from A and B. Oh, no, no, no. That will be 4. 4 in parallel. Yeah, this 4. In parallel with 3, 2, 5, right? So we will have this 4 in parallel with 3 plus 2 plus 5. Okay, so we'll have 1 plus 4 and then this one will be 10. Good, so we'll have 1 plus 4 times 
10 divided by 4 plus 10. Okay, and I think I just want to use calculator for that. 1 plus 4 times 10 and then 4 plus 10. Okay, we'll have 3.857. 3.857. And the unit will be ohm. And the second one is seen from BC. FTH BC. So we will have that 5. 5 in parallel with 4, 3, and 2, right? So, 5 in parallel with 4, 3, and 2. Good. So, we'll have 5 in parallel with 9. Okay, I just want to use my calculator then. 5 times 9 divided by 5 plus 9. Therefore, this will equals to 5 times 9, 5 plus 9. Good, I will have 3.1214. 3 ohm. Okay, so now let's answer the question A. As seen from terminal AB, we have PAB is 4 volt. So we'll have 4 volt here. And then the resistance is here 3.857. 3.857. And the unit will be ohm. And so we will have A and we also have B here. Okay, this is the answer for problem A. And then the answer for problem B, we will have this one here that will be 15 volt. Okay, and then we will have the resistance here is 3.214. And the unit will be ohm. And this is terminal, not A. That is terminal B and that is terminal C. Okay, I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.